I am Anil Kumar and here is an application question from the book Nelson Advanced Function. It is question number 14b, page 467. The question is, the function s of d equals to 93 log of d plus 65 relates the speed of wind s in miles per hour near the center of a tornado to the distance that the tornado will travel d in miles. If the tornado has sustained speeds or winds of approximately 250 miles per hour, estimate the distance it can travel. So in the given formula, we are given the speed of the winds and we need to find distance it can travel. So let's copy the formula first. It is S of D equals to 93 log of D plus 65. So we are given uh, speed which is 250 miles per hour, we need to find what distance is, correct? So we can actually rearrange this equation and then calculate. So we can write 93 log of d is equals to s of d minus, we'll bring this on this side, 65, correct? Or we can say log of d is equal to s of d minus 65, divided by 93, right? So, so that means we can find ds power of this, correct? That is how we will solve it. Now let us substitute the values and simplify this first. So s of d is 250, so we have 250 minus 65 divided by 93. And we'll write it on the right side and then solve it further. So what we get here is log of d is equal to let me calculate this 250 minus 65 divided by 93 is equal to, let's write it in decimals, 1.989. Let me write 1.989. 1.9892. Okay, let's take it to four decimal places. And from here, we can find the distance since it is base 10. Distance equals to 10 to the power of all this, 1.9892, right? So approximately 100 it shows. So we will do 10 to the power of this answer. So we have 10 to the exponent of the answer, which is equals to 97.55. And the units are miles, so miles. So our answer is, this tornado will travel to approximately 97.5 miles. So that is how you can solve such application questions. I hope that helps. Thank you.